so I know you guys have been asking me what the heck are you gonna build on this place um, here is a look at the little 10 by 10 cabin that you see me build the deck for this is what's going on top of that deck so I've got it in x-ray mode right now just to show you all the fun joinery that we're gonna be doing we oui. <laughs> I mean me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a whole lot of joinery. It's just gonna be a big, beautiful piece of furniture. I'll show you what it looks like, kind of as a solid structure. So we've got the door right here on the left. Might be reversed on your screen, I don't know. Um, followed by a nice big picture window that'll be facing that valley, the beautiful valley that you see in all my videos. And then we've got a window off to the south side here to let in lots of light. Um, I might stick another window up in here on either side because I might create a little loft shelf just above the door, probably to store stuff on. And then these two back walls here um, will just be solid walls that's uh, facing the neighbor's property and then this is facing kind of the north side so you don't want to put too many windows there or else you just lose a lot of heat um, so yeah probably gonna have so we got this little five foot overhang here and I'm gonna build a little porch uh, with stairs coming up here from the side and clad the whole thing in tongue and groove with some rigid insulation uh, so it'll be, there won't be any thermal breaks because it'll have a solid layer of probably three to four inches of frigid styrofoam insulation, probably five or six inches on the roof. Uh, so it's going to be a very cozy, warm little cabin. And uh, I'm going to put a tiny little mini fireplace in there to keep us warm. So I'm looking forward to getting going on it. Let's go plane some timber. So here's a look at my timber pile. Uh... Most of this stuff is actually good wood. It looks kind of crappy, but I'm going to be milling it down and sanding all the gray off of it. So you'll actually see that it turns into some beautiful stuff. Here's a piece that I cut off another board. So it planes up pretty nice. It's old growth fir, uh, but I have to do a lot of milling uh, to get into to the dimensions that I'm going to be using for the shed. So it's time for a little geek out. There's a perfect little case study here about wood. So this post was upstairs in my shop, standing up vertically against the wall. And it's about 10 feet long. And you can see, look at all that sap. This sticky sap coming out that spot. If you look at this end here, no sap. So what happens is, this was sitting up in the roof. You can see the insulation was stuck to it. So that was vertical, that was up. And this end was the bottom that was down on the floor. And you can see that even a post like this, it's all been milled and dried and sitting in there for probably a year or two. The sap is still moving and gravity is actually pulling it out of the wood. And it's just oozing up the bottom right there. So it's an interesting to, to know that even in wood that's uh, stable and dry like this, the sap still is affected by gravity, which kind of gives credence to all those woodworker guys that are talking about the moon cycles and milling wood in the winter when the sap is out of the trees and stuff. It's all actually true. And this is kind of proof that, that sap is always moving, gravity is moving it. All right, so I'm rooting through my piles of wood trying to find enough timbers to do this frame so I don't have to buy any new wood because I'm broke. Uh, and so I had this 11 foot eight by eight, but you can see how gnarly twisted it is. So what I've done, when you want to straighten a, a timber, you shim it level on one end so that end is level and then once you've got that end level you bring the level down to this end 
and make a level mark across the timber and that'll tell you how much twist you got. So you can see that I've got uh, about an inch and a quarter of twist on that timber that I got to take off. So now I'm going to snap a line from here down to that end and then from here down to that end and remove all this wood right here so I have a flat untwisted surface and then from there I will make my square um, five and a quarter timber. So I'll do that and then I'll square the next face and then I'll take it inside and run it through the planer once I have two straight square perpendicular faces. And that's how you make a square timber out of a crooked gnarly timber. So that took me about an hour and a bit to make a nice straight square timber. Now it's got some pretty bad checks on this side, but that's fine because I'm going to I'll face that out so it'll get hidden on the outside of the building. And you'll only see uh, two faces on the inside. So I'll just pick the nicest faces and show those on the inside. The nice thing is that this has been up in the upstairs of my shop for a couple of years. So I know it's bone dry and it's not going to shrink or move anymore on me. Especially that it's seeing that it's a heartwood timber, which likes to crack. It's already done all it's cracking, which is good. Because I'm about to start crack a lacking on some joinery. Well, today we mourn the passing of a hard worker. My old DeWalt chop saw. Worked hard for a good 10 years almost daily. And uh, she's just done. I uh, thought it might have been the bearing. I took out the bearing and the bearing was fine. Uh, the motor's just got nothing left in her. And it wasn't the brushes, just wore her out. New saw works well. What? The new saw works well. Style. The new, said, saw? new saw. New saw. Where'd my pencil go? Damn it! You kicked my pencil. You took it, didn't you? This isn't it. Give it back. Uh, witchcraft. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs>
This is the way. What are you guys doing? Sleeping? Yeah, I have the songs. Oh, cool. Okay, well, it's, I, mean, I love it when there is just a big pile of beautiful timbers with joinery cut on them. Like, doesn't it just light up your eyeballs, tickle your brain? Looks like the samurai is going to be getting out of his tent just in time for the winter raids. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I'm definitely not excited to stay in a tent. So let's get this thing built. We're going to load this up now, take it up to the property, and let the magic happen.